you ever get stressed or anxious? Has this been a problem for you? Many of the people who come to our trainings, that's one of the biggest things they want to resolve is their levels of anxiety. Hi, I'm Gordon Young from the Institute of Applied Psychology. I'm here to tell you it's much easier to resolve than you might think. One of the first problems is that we tend to talk about anxiety or stress as if it's a, as, as a thing, as if it's a noun. There's no such thing as stress or anxiety. I can't put it into an envelope and send it to you. You can't put it into a wheelbarrow and wheel it to you. It's a process. You have to do stress. You have to do anxiety. Let me explain, just briefly. You have to hold certain tension in the body. You have to imagine and catastrophize the future. Now think about that. The moment you go into the future, you're fabricating, you're making stuff up. If I'm three seconds into the future, I'm making it up because it's not happening right now. You never stress about what has happened. You stress about what you think the consequence of that event will be. So the moment we're in the world of fabrication, then the problem is in our imagination, not in the world around us. And the biggest problem is people think that work stresses them out, or their relationship stresses them out, or their kids stress them out. And the truth is, you stress yourself out because you are imagining things going pear-shaped. At the end of the day, there are some things that are more realistic as a concern than others. Most of the time, 95 plus percent of the population are stressing out about things that will never ever happen because they're responding to their own imagination. The truth is stress and anxiety are really only a fear of the uncertainties of life. When you don't know what's gonna happen, you make it up. Now, so the bad news is you've been doing this to yourself. The good news is you've been doing this to yourself, which means you can stop. The only piece that's missing for most people is the how. How do you stop? And when you can break down what stress is in the system, break down the component parts and learn how to change the way you assess risk, then the world changes for you. The world is much, much simpler. And that is what we do in most of our trainings. That is the greatest inhibitor to people's success. Because if you run a lot of stress or anxiety, one of the things that will be most important to you will be safety and security. And safety and security don't go well with experimentation and pursuing possibility. We trade away a lot for safety, but it doesn't have to be. You could learn a new way of being and develop a new way of living. If you want to have more, you have to be more.